everyone welcome or welcome to my channel my name is Sarah Jane and I film content about life in my 30s living in DC so if that interests you be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel I actually started filming this vlog like a week ago and then I got super sick I got the flu and it knocked me for about a week. It's actually been over a week at this point. Um, and you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm pretty nasally, pretty congested. Um, and I have this like cough that doesn't go away. Luckily, I'm not like confined to the bed anymore, but there were about three days there where I literally did not get out of bed. So we are trying this again. It's actually a weird time to start the vlog because it's already the end of the work day. So I've already logged off of work and um i worked from home today it's been snowing outside which gorgeous but also i don't love the snow um i hate being cold and i think today was like a high of 17 degrees like super super cold but with all that being said you are probably wondering why i'm putting on makeup if it's the end of the day wouldn't i like start makeup at the beginning of the day um i actually have picked up a new hobby and i'm going to it tonight so um, I have started ice skating lessons. Um, little fun fact about me when I was a kid, I really wanted to take ice skating lessons, but the closest rink was over an hour away, which was, um, really hard for my parents. I lived in the South. So now that I'm older, my friend and I were ice skating at the National Portrait Gallery over December, and she mentioned how she was starting ice skating lessons and I was like oh my gosh that is so fun um and she had convinced me to do it so I signed up at a local rink and I'm very excited I actually was supposed to have my first lesson last week but that was the day that I got sick and so I had to miss it um it's a seven lesson series about seven weeks long so I missed the first one but from what the, what the person told me when I called the rink it's just like really like basics um so I'm not too worried about it but I really do want to make it there tonight and I think I'm out of this powder anyways I really want to try to make it tonight um we shall see I'm gonna make it there tonight that's like literally the whole reason I'm putting on makeup so I have motivation to go so anyways it's pretty much like me living my childhood dreams out for lack of a better term my friend and I wanted to take lessons together but um, the course she was in was already full, so I am just going to my local rink, and I've actually bought skates. Um, I committed and bought some beginner level skates. I'll show you guys those in a little bit. Um, and I think they're so cute. I've skated in them twice so far, and it is crazy the amount of difference between, like, skates you own and rental skates. Like, they're just so much more comfortable, and they look so much cuter. Um, so yeah, that's what we're getting ready for right now. So Trey is making dinner before I head off to my lesson. Um, he's making soup and I'm really excited. I've been in such a huge soup mood with the weather. But anyways, I thought I would let you guys know in the meantime what books have been on my nightstand and like what I'm reading right now. Normally, I'm someone who reads like one book at a time plus an audiobook. But this time I'm actually reading three at one time which is super unlike me i have three right here one is a fiction which is sort of like my what i'm reading every day um at a high volume one is a non-fiction that i'm kind of like bringing into my personal life and the other is like something i'm keeping at my bedside um because it's a bit more long term so anyways let's go in with the book that i'm actually reading in high consumption which is ruthless vows by rebecca ross i started it yesterday i'm already on a page 169 and i'm obsessed i read divine rivals when it came out and i love divine rivals so when this book came out the day after christmas um, i immediately picked it up this is the barnes and noble edition which is why it looks a little bit different and um i love 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 this book i've talked about this in my previous um like book wrap up videos where it just <sighs> It's such like a cozy read to me, even though it's about a journalist writing a, about a war between gods, like I, crazy. But I, I love this book. And so this is the one I'm currently reading right now. Um, a nonfiction book that I'm reading to kind of, I think, make myself a better person because I think 
as people we should always be growing that's just my personal philosophy and now that i have finished my grad degree at georgetown i there is this like lack of space in my life where i am like learning or growing before that's what georgetown was doing for me and now it's not there so i've decided to start picking up um kind of like self-help books i guess um so this one is how to win friends and influence people by dale Carnegie. this is a classic this came out literally forever ago but i've actually never read it and i am reading it at a slower pace because i feel like there is a lot of good stuff in here and what i think is interesting so far about this book because i'm only on page um 25 is that it's not even really a book about friendship which i think is misleading it's more of a book about leadership at least so far from what i've seen um which is good for me because i am a manager of people so um so this is something that i've been reading slowly and then the last book i'm currently reading is evergreen by lydia millen lydia is a youtuber here and i adore her i've been watching her for like 10 years now and um anyway she came out with evergreen and first of all the cover is gorgeous my husband um opened this book for me because i was sick at the time when this came in and he was like wow this is a beautiful cover but then you open it and look how just lovely this front like page is i'm obsessed but anyways this is divided by seasons uh which so that's like why i'm not flying through this book i'm leaving this at my bedside um table my nightstand and i just read like a page or two every day um because i also don't want to read all of like the winter before it's um you know before the end of winter so this is also something i'm reading and from my understanding it's sort of tries to help you walk through what's to enjoy from each season of life or at least that's kind of my perception of it um yeah discover the joy of every season and i think it's such a good time to start this book because i think the winter after christmas is such like a time of year where people hate it like you know it's cold the days are short it's dark all the time and this is actually the first year where i felt like i really enjoy this time of year for what it is right um as a time to kind of slow down and relax and reset and i think a part of my appreciation for it is this book so anyways just wanted to give you guys a little update on what i've been reading um i have so much more time to read now that i'm done with grad school which is so nice um and yeah i just i love just sharing love just sharing the things that speak to my soul Okay. I've dust on my boots A thousand Okay, I am all dressed and almost ready to head out. But really quick, I wanted to talk about these socks I got from Amazon. Um, I found this girl on TikTok that had these on her Amazon list. And it's a set of five socks. But they're 55% wool and 25% percent cotton with the remaining percentage being like synthetic fibers i've been on a really big like natural fiber kick lately when it comes to my clothing and i could make a whole video about this but essentially i've realized that all the clothes that i have over the years and continue to wear are items that are made of natural fibers and so i've made an intentional effort to continue to buy um, natural fibers moving forward at least 80% composition so when I saw these on Amazon I was surprised and I picked up a pack and I'm actually gonna wear a set tonight these are not the um, socks that I'll be wearing with my ice skates because these are too thick um, but just to like try them out to see how they feel and so now let me show you my ice skates so this is just an old work bag I have and that's what I carry them in but these are my skates Aren't they so pretty? I love them so much. So these are the Jackson Mystique. Um, when I was getting fitted, they told me that this is a good beginner brand, or this is a good beginner skate to have. Um, and from what I've seen on TikTok, actually a lot of girls start with the Mystique, which is really nice. It's not the cheapest beginner skates, but um, I think they're fair for what I paid for them. Um, and then these are called soakers and I just got pink ones and um, 
I also have a rag to wipe down my skates in here. And then, oh, these are the actual skating socks that I'll be using. They're almost like a pantyhose consistency. I found out when I bought my skates that um, it's actually better to uh, use like real skating socks because other socks are just too thick. Um, you want really thin socks. And then um, I have my blade guards in here. I just have like these white ones. And then last but not least, I have gloves in here because um, it gets cold in the ice skating rink, which I don't know though. I feel like the ice skating rink might actually be warmer than the outside is today because right now it's really cold. So anyways, that's what's in my skating bag and I'm about to head out. I have taken my place. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had the absolute best time ice skating. I really didn't have time to film any clips because by the time I got like signed up, figured out where I was supposed to go, got my skates on, the class had already like started, um, and it's only 30 minutes. And then when I left, it was like super crowded. So anyways, um, but I had such a great time and then I got to meet two really nice girls. Um, one who was, this was actually her makeup class, but she liked this class so much better that she actually switched to be in our class so like now she's full-time in my class so it was so nice to meet some other girls who are interested in skating and who are like around my age um and i actually did really well i have my forward swizzles and my backward swizzles really well i did the two foot glide but i couldn't do one foot glides very well so that's something that i'm gonna have to work on but anyways we are now back home where the fire is going and i'm very excited because it's cold Good morning and happy Thursday. I am running off to work, but a quick OTD. This is a hunter green sweater from Barber. It's 100% wool. It's so warm, which will be great for today. Belt is from J. Crew. These like kind of longer pants, they're black pants, are from uh, Ann Taylor. And I'm going to be wearing black booties with this. And then I just have a little bit of uh, Kendra Sky rings in there. Alrighty everyone, I'm home from the office. I'm sorry I cannot show my work day with you. That's just the thing about some work sometimes. It's like you just can't show some of the fun stuff. So anywho, I'm home and I got home to a really lovely surprise. My wedding photos were delivered. So as part of my package with my wedding photographer, I got print credit and I ended up making my own photo album outside of her services um, just because I found it to be more affordable but I did print a lot of like individual photos through her so I'm going to show you it. So this is a box that I got from Michaels and I love it because it um, makes the whole process so organized. With When it comes to wedding photos you have so many photos. And what I love about this is you can open it and organize your photos however so I've sort of started organizing my photos um in the way that she delivered the photos to me because they were in different sections so i ordered pretty much all my favorites through her and then i'm using my own photo company to order um some of the other ones if that makes sense so anyways um they come in these little boxes each of these boxes hold about like 100 photos and they just class shut and i came home to see like some of the most beautiful photos. So like Trey and I sat together um, once I got home and just looked at, um, that was right before I was about to walk down the aisle. And we just looked at these photos together and I, I love it. It just like brought back so many beautiful memories. And so yeah, there was like 500 photos or something insane like that. Um, and I've organized them to the best of my ability in this box. Like no one prints photos anymore, which is such a shame because like, I feel like there's just something really nostalgic about looking through old printed photos. Um, but yeah, and I did not, I think of all the photos of my life, I think my wedding day is the one day that I definitely need to print the photo. So 
anyways I still have like probably another thousand photos I need to print because there was about 1500 photos total I ordered 500 to my photographer I'm gonna order the other thousand um, slowly because like printing does cost money um, but anywho I was really excited to come home and just find that it was really sweet so I'm home I was gonna go to book club tonight but honestly I'm still not feeling 100% and I think a tray is starting to get sick which is not good um, so I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night just kind of relaxing and chilling I think I want to read a little bit more and just have a nice night in I also didn't read the book of a book club anyways snow day which is beautiful but I'm also a little over the snow I think snow is so pretty when you first look at it but um, after that I'm kind of over it and also I have a lake in the back of my air property and it's starting to freeze over and the urge to go ice skating on it is so real but I'm not going to because from what I read online the snow or like the ice needs to be clear for it to be safe and it's definitely still foggy white but anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm working from home today, so and it's a slow day, so I'm just going to be doing that for the rest of the afternoon, and then I'm going to start my weekend. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel, and I will see you guys in another one. Bye.